In this Cinema 4D quick tip, we'll continue with the brick wall that we started in the prior quick tip. And you may have noticed that while we got the stagger offset with a single cloner, what we didn't take care of is these end caps. So that would be just fine if you were going to be zoomed in enough that you wouldn't see them. But let's just look at how we would clean up those end caps and make it a completely solid uh, wall that's flush on both ends. And the way I would do that is to go into my formula effector I already have, first of all, and I need to just clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that the position X is 75 because that's exactly half of the width of each brick, which is 150. And what we wanna do now is just create some additional formula effectors. So let's just go ahead and rename this really quick. We're gonna name this bricks and we're gonna call this first formula stagger. And we're gonna create another new formula effector. So we'll just go ahead and choose formula effector from the effector menu. And again, it's automatically applied because the cloner was selected. We're gonna go ahead and clear out the default formula. And we're basically going to utilize the first formula effector trick that we learned, which is modifying a specific clone based on the modulus. So we know here that this is the first brick that we need to shorten up. And we know that the modulus of that brick is six because zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so if we do a modulus based on dividing by 12, we're gonna have six here, six here, six here, and six here. So again, we're gonna go mod ID 12, and we're just gonna say equals six. And now you can see that those specific bricks scaled up because that's the parameter that's specified here in the parameter tab. Instead of scaling them up, what we're gonna do is turn off uniform scale and we're going to scale them down on the X axis. So we're gonna scale them in half, minus 0.5. And then we need to just shift the position a little bit. And this is gonna be 75 divided by two. So again, that's the basically a fourth of the width of my brick. And there you go, we've got a nice flush wall on this side. So we'll call this flush left. And we'll basically just copy the same effector and we're gonna go ahead and put it into the effectors tab and we'll call this one flush right. And in this case, what we'll do is go ahead and set the formula to be equal to five because we short, want to shorten up these bricks here, which are ID five, and then this one would be ID 17. So when we divide by 12, we get a remainder of five and so on. So when ID is five, you can see that shorten those up. We just need to reverse this position offset. And now we have a completely flush brick wall with one cloner and three formula effectors.